Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. Let's take a moment, step away from the news, and let's talk about makeup, something fun, a great distraction. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my top 10 favorite nude lipsticks, as well as sharing with you some other products that I like to accompany with my nude lipsticks. So if you are interested in seeing that, then just keep watching. Nude lipsticks. One of the most key things for nude lipsticks is the lip liners that you are using. So before I get started, I do want to share with you my favorite nude lip liners that I like to pair with my nude lipsticks. Lip liners can completely change the look of your nude lipstick. If you don't wear a lip liner under your nude lipstick, a lot of times it can make your lips disappear, make you look sick. It just makes a good lipstick look not good on you. <laughs> so the lip liner that you use is just as important as the lipstick that you put on top. I picked out my top four of the ones that I typically grab for for different purposes just to share with you guys. So the first one I want to talk about is the one that I used for every single lipstick for the demo just to keep everything consistent and fair but this is one of my favorite universal lip liners and this is from Alamar Cosmetics and this is the lip liner in the shade Dulce. Now this is a really beautiful lip liner you guys. Here is the color. It is a very neutral kind of taupe color and it works great as a contour shade for your lips. I enjoy this for almost all of my nude lipsticks, which is why I chose to use this under all today, but it really adds some contour and definition to your lips, and it pairs so well with many different nude lipsticks. If you are of a deeper complexion, I would recommend you look into their deeper shade, which is Coqueta. She has a beautiful formula. It's extremely smooth and comfortable on the lips. You can sharpen them. I love a lip liner that can be sharpened, and it's just overall a really great universal color. This is probably my most used nude lip liner. I also love the Pat McGrath lip liner in contour. It's basically the same shade as this. The Pat McGrath one's a little bit more expensive, so if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable, I would recommend Olimar's, but the Pat McGrath is also a really fabulous formula, and contour, like I said, is like this color right here. It's just, I use it so much that it's somewhere in my purse, but this one is very, very good. Speaking of Pat McGrath, I do have another color that I love to wear with nudes. This one I wear with more pinky type of nudes and this is done undone this is kind of a really great everyday lip liner and you'll see compared to Dulce it is much more pink so that's Dulce here is done undone so if you're looking for a lip liner that extends the color of your lips so you can actually make your lips look bigger because this is the same color as my lip color so I love this when I'm going for a light pinky nude lip because I'll use this to kind of add a little bit of definition and then I'll go in with a lighter color in the center to really expand the shape and the size of my lips so done undone by Pat McGrath for pinky nudes if you're looking for an affordable option I recommend you look into ColourPop lip liner they have a whole range so I would go online and take a look but the one that I've been loving and this one is a bit more of a peachy light nude this is the shade BFF this is the third color over here so as you can see it's more peachy than done undone and Dulce and I love this for an everyday nude lip this again goes with a lot of lip colors and it's very affordable so if you're looking for a nice affordable lip liner look into ColourPop they have some great options and then the last one this is probably one of my most most used lip liners. I love how versatile it is because it's the Isom dual sided lip pencil. I like this because it's dual sided and this is in the nude shade. The nude shade is perfect for nudes. They have other colors as well. I'm going to show you the colors. So you have a lighter side and then a darker side. I like these a lot because they're so soft. You can blend them out to really create an ombre lip. So here's the lighter color. It's a bit more orangey taupey compared to Dulce. And then here is the darker color, which is a beautiful chocolate color. I love it. This is a really fabulous formula. It's very easy to work with and I recommend this because depending on what kind of nude look you're going for, you can use a lighter side if you want a lighter nude lip or you can use a darker side if you want a darker nude lip. So for today, I actually used the darker side on the outsides of my lips and I used a brush to blend it out and you'll see how easy it is to kind of blend that color. And then on top, I'm wearing a one of my nude lipsticks to lighten that up. So these are the four lip liners that I go 
go to the most for nude lipsticks. So just kind of depending on what vibe you're going for, what type of nude lip you want, will depend on what lip liner you would like to use. But these are my favorite, highly recommend. So now let's get into the good stuff. We're gonna start talking about the actual lipstick. So the first lipstick I have to share is probably the nude lipstick that I've loved for the longest. This color kind of introduced me to nude lips, to be honest. And this is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick. First of all, I love these. I've had this one for a long time, so I actually need to declutter this because I need to buy a fresh one, but I will absolutely be buying a fresh one because this is amazing. This is the perfect brown peach nude. It is the top color that I have right here on my hand. This is my ideal nude color. It's the first color that I ever owned that was nude and really made me love nude lips. And I love the formula of these especially because it is a pencil form. So this actually is kind of like a giant lip liner. So it stays put without being too drying. It is a bit drying because it is kind of a more pencil formula. But let me tell you, this is a beautiful nude. It's really great to keep in your purse because you can just throw it on it's gonna last you a long time and this is an OG nude lipstick for me I highly recommend it it's one of my faves obviously all of these are all of my faves but this as far as just everyday going with a lot of different looks this is what I go for the next lipstick that I have is very different from the one that I just showed you but this is from Marc Jacobs and this is the sugar sugar lipstick now this is in a frost finish which I don't necessarily love but it does add something extra to the lips this is what I like to wear when I want a pretty blank nude lip. So it has a bit of a peachy undertone, but against my skin tone, it's very, very nude. So this can't be worn alone. I have to use a lip pencil. It looked very good with Dulce underneath it, but this is a really great center of the lip topper as well. So whatever lipstick you're wearing, just kind of pop this in the center and it really amps up your lip look kind of brightens everything. I love this for layering by itself. Very unique because it is a frost finish. This is a nude lip that I go for when I want that really striking nude nude lip. I love this. The next one that I have is from Becca and this is in the shade Sugar. First of all, if you haven't tried the Becca lipstick formulas, they are amongst my favorite. They're extremely smooth and comfortable. They have a really great selection of colors and they have that like shiny finish on the lips. So it's kind of like a hybrid of a lipstick and a lip gloss, leaning more towards lipstick, but they have a shine to them. So this is a beautiful kind of cool pink that we have here. But what I love about this shade is how versatile it is. This is a nude that goes with so many different eye looks. It's always going to look good. It is quite nude. It's a very light shade. The cool undertone in here is actually very flattering for a lot of different looks. So if you're looking for a nice, cool, light, pink nude lip. This is the way to go and also one of the best formulas as well. I love sugar. Next up we have a lipstick from Hourglass. Now first of all one of the things that most attracts me to this lipstick is the packaging is extremely thin. Now it is overpriced compared to the value but beautiful formula and I really like how it's so thin because I got small lips. So <laughs> if you have small lips you're gonna love how much control you have with this. This is in the shade I'll Never Stop. This was the first color that I got from this formula and it's a little bit more of a peachy brown compared to the others but this is a great everyday nude lip that you can just throw on. It goes with whatever makeup look that you're wearing and I just love tones like this for every day and this is just a comfortable nude that's going to look good on a lot of skin tones. You don't have to really play around too much to get it to work or to get it to match your makeup look. So everyday nude, I love this. I'll never stop from Hourglass. The next one that we have is from Too Faced and I have loved this line of lipsticks for a very long time and this is in the shade Nip Slip. Very cute packaging first of all and Nip Slip is the probably the most brown based nude that I chose for for this video. So as you can see compared to the others, it definitely has a warm brown base to it. But this one I like because it's a little bit deeper so you don't need to play too much with lip liners or have to worry too much about it washing out your face. This adds color to your face while still keeping the look nude. It makes you look like you spent more time on your makeup than you did if you were to wear this alone. Because it's more brown based, I wouldn't say it brightens up your face, but it does add color and it makes you look more like mysterious. I don't know. It adds a cool vibe to your makeup look and it's just one of my favorite go-to nudes. Too Faced did a very good job with this formula. I hate the shape of the bullet because it's just so like flat and hard to really add definition but beautiful lipstick. So if you are familiar with my channel at all you would know the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude lipstick line was 
one of the best lipstick lines ever released. She released the most beautiful colors, some very unique nude shades, and with a very smooth and creamy formula. They're almost too creamy to a point where you don't want to keep the lipsticks in warm temperatures, but the formula is so comfortable on the lips and her range of colors are beautiful. So my top two favorite, I picked out two from that line. The first one is Beatrice. Now this is a nude pink kind of color, so if you are looking for a light cool toned nude pink, I recommend Beatrice. That would be this shade right here. So as you can see compared to the others, it's a bit of a deeper pink nude compared to the others, but it actually is very light on my face. So I do need a lip liner underneath. I think Sometimes the lipsticks and bullets can be a bit deceiving because you don't think it's actually going to be so light against your skin tone But once you put them on you're like, okay, that kind of erased my lips So this does need a lip liner, but it's one of my favorite pink based nudes The next one that I picked out is Natasha now I am sickly obsessed with this lipstick Especially when I do a really bold makeup look. This is the nude that you need as you can see look how different it is Compared to Beatrice, so it's much more peachy. It's much more neutral toned. It's so good If you do wild makeup on your eyes and you're always looking for that perfect nude to just kind of wipe out your lips But still make you not look dead. This is the perfect nude lip color I can't begin to tell you. Specifically, I find that it really flatters cool toned kind of looks like blues or silvers. This really complements them and it's just a beautiful kind of erase your lips but your lips are still there nude. I love it. As far as bold makeup goes, this is my favorite nude ever. Now my all-time favorite lipstick formula or lipstick line has to go to Charlotte Tilbury. I picked out my top two nude lipsticks from Charlotte Tilbury and the second I put these two on my lips it was game over these are my two most used lipsticks in my entire lipstick collection it's always either this one or this one so the first one that we have is Nude Kate so this is the lighter of the two and Nude Kate does remind me a lot of Natasha as you can see it's just a little bit more deep a little bit more warm but this is what I go to when I want a lighter nude so when I'm leaving the house now you know I want a nude lip but I don't want to spend too much time playing picking out a color I will pick one of these two so if I want a lighter nude lip I will use Nude Kate. Nude Kate by the way looks beautiful with a deep brown lip liner and this on top to really brighten up and emphasize the lip. I love Nude Kate so if you're looking for a brighter lipstick go for Nude Kate. It is Charlotte Tilbury's kissing formula so it has a shine to it so it's extremely comfortable to the lips and makes them look more plump and youthful. So the next one that I have this is my absolute favorite lipstick in my entire collection. The most used, the one that I wear for every day, it is my absolute favorite everyday nude. And that is Hepburn Honey, which is what I have on my lips right now. It's a deeper shade compared to Nude K, and it's just the perfect everyday nude lipstick. It looks so good on me. <laughs> this is the lipstick I wear to events. I wear it to interviews. Anything I want to look good for or have good luck with, this is the lipstick that I use. I love. I adore. And right now I paired this with the Esam nude lip liner. I use the darker side. I blended that. And this is the lipstick that I put on top. And I mean, it's a versatile nude. It's great. It's the kissing formula again, which is extremely comfortable on the lips. So I love this one. I also wanted to provide you guys with a more affordable option. So I chose my favorite pink nude from Morphe. So this is actually a liquid lipstick. I'm not too big on the Morphe liquid lipstick formula, but I truly do love this color. And this is my kind of go-to pinky nude lipstick. It's the deepest pink nude that I have in this video. And I really love it. Now with the Morphe formula, apply as light of a layer as you can you're gonna get a beautiful pink nude and then put a gloss on top and you're good to go and you have nothing to worry about so that's the only thing with this I don't recommend wearing this alone because I hate liquid lipsticks but once you pop a good gloss on you're good to go and this is a beautiful pink nude and it's affordable because looking at what I showed you guys they're a bit pricey so here is the affordable option that I chose also flower beauty has very beautiful nude lipsticks as well with a beautiful formula so that's another brand that I would look into but speaking of gloss Glossy lips. I did want to quickly share with you my favorite nude lip gloss to pop on top and I love Pat McGrath's lip gloss in Dare to Bear. It's a very light peach shade but the formula looks so good as well. It kind of mutes out your lips, fills in all of the wrinkles that you have on your lips. It's so comfortable and it just makes your lips look 
more luscious. This lip gloss shade goes with every kind of nude, truly, and it just adds the extra oomph to your lips that they need. I love this lip gloss for nude lips. So anyways, that is all I have for today's video. Those are my top picks for my favorite nude lipsticks. If you have any that I missed out that I'd need to try, make sure you comment down below. I'm always on the hunt for a bomb nude lip. I mean, who isn't, you know? So hopefully if you have been on the hunt, this video helps you out because truly they are some really awesome options. So that is all I have for today's video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, I hope you guys take the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a good one.